2021 Hyundai Veloster NDCT first test, somehow even better. Hyundai turns up the wick on the Veloster N it takes most automakers a couple tries to get a car right. Take the first Chevrolet Corvette as an example. Gorgeous, sure, but objectively it wasn't the sports car the styling promised. That's what makes the Hyundai Veloster N so impressive. The first product from Hyundai's new N Sport performance arm was pure joy right out of the gate, and with the new 2021 Hyundai Veloster N, now available with an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic, Hyundai's attempted to make its little pocket rocket even better. What's new for 2021? Although the Veloster N has only been on sale since the 2019 model year, the changes for 2021 are fairly significant. Aside from the new 8-speed automatic, effectively a $1,500 option, joining the standard 6-speed manual transmission, there's a power boost for 2021. Starting this year, the performance package that was available on 2019 and 2020 Veloster Ns becomes standard. This not only boosts the 2.0-liter turbocharged IFAS power from 250 horsepower to 275 horsepower, torque remains flat at 260 pound-feet, but it also includes a limited slip differential, electronically adjustable dampers, bigger brakes with better cooling capacity, an active exhaust system, and stickier summer tires on 19-inch wheels. Other changes include new performance bucket seats with an N logo that lights up a cool blue at night and on cars with the new dual clutch and NGS button. Short for N Grin Shift, the NGS button works similarly to Porsche's Sport Response button in that it puts the car into the most aggressive N setting and temporarily boosts torque to 278 pound-feet for 20 seconds. Unlike Porsche's push-to-pass-like button, however, NGS needs two minutes to recharge between each use. How fast is the new Veloster NDCT? Let's get right to it. As expected, opting for the dual clutch over the manual results in a significantly quicker hot hatch. Despite a finicky launch control system, our automatic Veloster zipped from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a seriously quick 5.1 seconds and on through the quarter mile in 13.7 seconds at 102.9 miles per hour. The quickest manual performance pack equipped Veloster N we've tested needed 5.9 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour and 14.9 seconds to get through the quarter mile at 101.0 miles per hour. You'd expect the more complex dual clutch to add some weight to the Veloster N package, and it does, just 100 pounds by our scales. Thankfully, this doesn't negatively affect handling or braking performance too much. The Veloster NDCT's 60 to 0 miles per hour brake performance falls from 111 feet for the manual car to 114 feet for the automatic one, while figure 8 performance improves a hair from 24.9 seconds at 0.74 grams average to 24.7 seconds at 0.76 grams. While the latest Veloster N is undeniably quick, road test editor Chris Walton has some homework for Hyundai's N team when it comes to limit handling something a Veloster N owner is likely to experience at a track day or autocross event. Two things that need improvement are the brakes and or the tires. Neither is sufficient for what this car is capable of doing or intended for, he said. As the laps pile on, creeping understeer became rather dramatic understeer, and I had to back up the braking zone because neither the brakes nor the tires were happy any longer. The Veloster N really doesn't like to be flogged. What about on the road? The Veloster N's limit performance issues don't present a problem in a world where driving 10 tenths in a 275 HP hatchback could result in your license being yanked. What continues to present the biggest problem for the Veloster N, however, is its bone-crushing ride in either sport or N modes. The Veloster's normal drive mode, which offers the softest suspension tune, is only marginally better, as it'll have you bracing for impacts and pulling over after nasty ones to check for damage to the N's low-profile rubber. Once you find a suitably smooth road and open up the taps, the Veloster is a treat. The end's little four pot is the star of the show, and has the character of an engine twice the size and displacement. With a wide, meaty powerband and delightful exhaust note, the Veloster end's engine feels like it always has something to prove. The Hyundai's talkative steering has great feel, and the balanced chassis exhibits exceptional poise. The Veloster N remains an exceptionally fun car to chuck around.